Hey Voltron Facebook fans, it's Jeremy from WEP and I'm here with my best new friend here, Brandon Thomas. How you doing? Brandon, how are you? Thanks Very for good, taking sir. this interview for all of our Facebook fans Thank you. out there. So I know a lot of you out there want to know about this new imagining of the Voltron comic. Yes. yes. And you may have heard a lot of things. Well, here's the man himself to uh, answer some of those questions. So <laughs> Brandon, what can fans expect from this new uh, uh vision for the comic universe. Well, what they can expect is a more, uh, a slightly more modern, uh, contemporary take on the, on the Voltron mythos. Uh, this comic series is going to pick up probably about a, a year or two after, uh, kind of like the last episode of Lion Force. And so uh, the team is fully assembled. Uh, we're going to get right into the action, and we're going to uh, to really kind of broaden the characters and broaden the scope of the universe. And uh, there's also a very modern kind of reimagining of the Voltron Force that I think uh, fans will be really uh, really excited about. We're kind of uh, rebranding them a little bit as kind of a, a team of uh, highly trained, highly experienced uh, special forces operatives. We really want to make the term space explorer actually means something. Now obviously something fans are super excited about yes. is Alex Ross awesome. doing Voltron awesome. covers. Yes. And needless to say, they've delivered. I mean, what was that like to it, hear that it news. was it, it was it was pretty amazing. Uh, it's it's one of those things where like, wow, I'm I'm writing a comic that is an Alex Ross cover. <laughs> And uh, it was it was very exciting, and I and I knew that uh, I knew that that would be an, another another extra thing for the fans, another thing that would really get people excited about uh, reading the book. And and obviously, I want as, as many of you to read the book as possible. And then we've also got great covers from yep. uh, Sean Chen mm -hmm. and uh, Wagner Rice. Uh, Wagner Rice, yeah, did some yep. amazing work yep. too, kind of reimagining Voltron in some really cool poses and, I know. and taking their own flavor on it. As yeah, well. yeah, we um, you know, I think that's one thing that uh, as as a, as a publisher, Dynamite excels at. I, I believe their their cover art and uh, the artists that they recruit for a lot of their books is, is is really impressive. And so I'm very excited about the guys that we got uh, for uh, the first arc of, uh, of Voltron. And then uh, there should be uh, some exciting names coming for the for the second arc too. Yeah, and we've seen you and I have seen some of the upcoming art. You guys haven't seen this stuff yet, but some amazing stuff. I mean, it's stuff yeah. that you instantly go like, "Well, that's my new background." <laughs> on my computer, just like. Bang. Damn, that's yeah, what you do. and certainly the interior art we have you mm -hmm. talk about Ariel Padilla. From what you wrote, I mean that's a real challenge. I know in some of this 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 beginning, as I tell people, this mm -hmm. comic book feels like a summer movie, PG mm -hmm. thirteen summer movie in the palm of your hand. Mm -hmm. It feels like the Voltron movie we haven't got yet. Right, you're already kind of delivering on that. So these epic Robies battles, boom, we're starting mm -hmm. off. How did you approach even writing something like that? And well, I, it was something where I, I really wanted to make sure I uh, I started fast, and, and and I think it's something that I've uh, that I've done in a couple of my other projects. Uh, Miranda Mercury, the issue of Robin, I did a few years ago, where it's very uh, it, it, we we get off to a fast start, and yeah. it, it's really one of those things where I wanted to you know throw down the gauntlet right off the bat, you know, in this first issue. You know, there are a, a series of things that happen that we haven't necessarily seen from Voltron in the past. And I really wanted people to know from the beginning how seriously, you know, we are taking it. At, at its core, it is still Voltron, but it has a more, you know, modern, contemporary gloss. And I think for people... That like me, that, that loved Voltron as as a kid, I think they'll enjoy seeing like a slightly more grown up version of the concept and kind of you know some of those questions you have as a kid, like well why does that work or why does Zarkon you know hate it? How, why has he been terrorizing Eris? So those are the kind of questions that you're going to see answered in this initial storyline. You're going to know um, exactly why Zarkon has been going after. Eris for so long. You're going to learn that he holds Eris uh, chiefly responsible for something terrible that you know that has happened to him, and it, it's something else I really want to to delve into. You know, in the cartoon, the planet of Eris was seen as this very innocent, benevolent, you know, planet that came under you know undue attack, and I, I really wanted to ask that question. You know. Is is that actually true? You know, is is Eris as a planet and as as a society, is it really as innocent and as benevolent as it appeared to be, or 
does that planet have some some dark secrets? Or, what I love about your scripts, and then we're seeing the pages too. There's mm-hmm. always a page turner moment in your uh, episode. <laughs> I mean, we, 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 we're watching the Twitter. It's Wednesday. The mm-hmm. book is out. We're seeing mm-hmm. the Twitter. We're already seeing Facebook fans. Mm-hmm. One of the things fans are already talking about. This is mm-hmm. spoiler. Spoiler alert here. Yes. Is in that opening battle, mm-hmm. boom, you hit it off. Suddenly, Voltron talks. Yes. Which we've never seen before, right? I mean, yeah. how is that a conscious effort that you, yes. you you want something that's going to draw the viewer in and really keep them turning those pages? Definitely, definitely. Especially with this first issue, we wanted to to you know to come in hard, come in fast, and I kind of gave myself a goal. You know, every few pages, I want to see something different that we haven't seen. We see Voltron on Earth. We see the space explorers outside of the lions, which is you know, which is a a, a big question. Kicking. But right, kicking butt, <laughs> and you know, and and very capable in their own right. And the question is, what is controlling Voltron? Who is piloting Voltron? And then when you get to that moment where uh, Voltron actually speaks for the first time, I think it'll, I think it'll be pretty exciting. And it's a, it's a very uh, like what m- moment for you know for the fans to to really experience and. <laughs> Issue one is out, and as I call it, it's like a table set. Where it really mm-hmm. kind of sets the tone, mm-hmm. sets up the pieces involved. Yes. But as someone who's got to read the pleasure of reading ahead on the scripts, stuff gets really deep later. What can fans look forward to, particularly like issues two and three? It just really drew us in. Well, what you can look forward to definitely is um, is, is the coming of Eris. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it, it's going to be one of those things. There is a, a portion of our story that takes place in, in nearly present day Earth. Uh, story starts in 2012 and kind of drifts forward from there. But we're going to kind of answer this question of what happens when Earth makes first contact with an alien race, a highly aggressive alien race. You know, what happens when Earth is under attack from an alien enemy? And what happens when the planet of Eris, you know, approaches us and offers us, you know, an alliance, a partnership of sorts that, you know, can uh, can help protect us from, you know, planet doom. So it's, it's one of those things that I think people will, will really look forward to. And you can really see, I'm going to really delve into the formation of the Galaxy Alliance. Like, how did, how did Earth, you know, learn that the universe was so much bigger than they thought it was originally and how did the get how was the galaxy alliance formed and why and what role did eris play and what role what secret role did earth play in in the creation of voltron that we haven't seen before Mm -hmm. now a lot of our facebook fans out there are probably wondering okay is this guy a real fan is a real (laughs) deal so what do you say to the facebook fans out there that are watching say give me your voltron street credit right now why should you be rewriting this book and those fans uh online now give me give me the uh the spiel okay the spiel is when when i was a kid this is how i started writing these were my my first stories. Thankfully, I didn't I didn't keep any of them. I'm, I'm sure they would be uh, very embarrassing. I kind of want to see them now. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> but you know, Voltron was one of those shows that I was completely obsessed with, and this was one of the the shows that I watched, and it would it would go off, and I would say, well, what if? You know, what if Zarkon did this? What if this happened to the Voltron Force? You know, what if... I, I think it's also something that's being dealt with by you guys and, you know, in Voltron Force. It's like, what if, you know, Voltron fought a row beast that prevented Voltron from forming? You know, and so all of these little kind of... Uh, all, all of these notions have uh, have informed, you know, my my current take on on the property in some way. I just want people to know that, you know, I I feel strongly about the character, about the material. Uh, I am going to take care of it. I am going to do some things that uh, haven't been done with with the characters and with the property before, and uh, some some of them may seem a little uh, <laughs> some of them may seem a little bold uh, at first, bold, bold at first. But it comes but, back but around I, to what I, you know and love about yeah, Voltron. Yeah, it's all you know. Voltron is all about it's about relationships. It's about partnerships. It's about teamwork. 
uh, devotion, sacrifice, heroism, everything that Voltron has always been about, that is still what this comic is about. It's just going to be, uh, we're, we're, we're going we're gonna to grow it up a little bit. We're going to make it a little more modern, uh, a little more contemporary, and, and, and we're going to do some things that, that you haven't seen. And, uh, you know, I just, I, I, I encourage everyone to give it a shot. As a Voltron fan myself, mm-hmm. I mean, you've won me over. Fans, you can pick up Voltron number one from Dynamite Comics. It's in store now. It's also available on Comixology. Yep. Um, available on Comixology, or you can buy it here at Voltron.com. Believe me, you'll want to get in on this adventure first because it only gets crazier and cooler. So get ready for a wild ride. I can tell you that right now. Brandon, thanks for bringing a new edge Thank you. to the Voltron Force, Thank you. man. This has been awesome. How can fans get a hold of you, man? Oh, uh, well, fans can get a hold of me. I am uh, I am on Twitter, uh, at Miranda Mercury. Uh, that's one of my uh, one of my personal uh, creations. So uh, that's my Twitter handle. Uh, I also have a blog uh, that you can check out. It's fictionhouse.wordpress.com. Excellent. And of course, you also are on the Voltron.com fan forum. I am. Forum.voltron.com. We've created his own forum. He will take your questions on Voltron.com. And uh, also, you can follow at Voltron on Twitter. And uh, we'll be sure to get any questions you have for Brandon. So go pick up Voltron number one. It's in stores right now. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks. Let's go Voltron Force. Let's go Voltron Force. Show me one. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. I got the, I got the Voltron watch. I'm, I'm rocking I'm rocking the Lance right now. I'm rocking the From Lance. From Meister. That's awesome. Yeah, I know. Uh, you're I know. in the club now. Yep, that's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> All right, thanks, Facebook fans.